All right, Paul. So we 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 kind of understand what's going on with Venus a bit and Earth. Now Mars doesn't have that big of an atmosphere, but it's mostly carbon dioxide. So you that's know, what's right. Going on? So it probably is doing a bit of a greenhouse, but it's far too thin to do anything really significant. Okay. Um, but there is a big puzzle about the climate of Mars, and the yep. climate of Mars today is very much what you'd expect. Right. For something with that atmosphere, at that distance, you'd expect it to be bloody cold, and it is bloody cold. Okay, so solved, fine. The trouble is that it doesn't always seem to have been so cold. Okay. Now, if you look at Mars, you see it's got very different parts. You've yep. got most of the southern hemisphere is this very old lands, yep. and then you've got the much which is covered in craters, and as we talked earlier, That's right. lots of craters means it's very old. Yep. So the southern regions of the highland regions of Mars are probably about as old as the highland regions of the Moon, which is about nearly four billion years old, older than any surface rocks on Earth by a large factor. But on the northern hemisphere, it's dramatically different. Yes, yeah, so that's probably been resurfaced with lava or some sort of deposition. But the funny thing is, if you look at these very old areas, sure they're covered in craters, yep. but also you see a lot of water channels. Okay, so... Well, it looks like water channels. I mean, this, what does yeah, this yeah, like? I mean, it looks like soil erosion, right? This kind of looks like if you were to dry up a lake or a river here on Earth, what you would expect it to look like. It would look like river valleys. It yeah. looks like rain falls and flows down and merges. Uh, it's, a, it's called a dendrite, a tree-like pattern, and you see this on Earth. And you see lots of examples. Here's some more... I mean, this shore looks like rain fell and flew, flowed away across the surface. So, so we see lots of these spots on the more highland southern part of the planet. That's right. You, t you don't see it in the more recent places, but you look at the you know, very old, four billion year old places. Here is actually what looks like a, um, a delta. Yep. It, this is Jezero Crater. That's Mars right. Perseverance rover is currently wandering around here, about to go visit this area. Yep. Um, and what you've got here is it looks like uh, water flowed down into this crater and then flowed out, probably joining a lake. Yep. So, um, so we so we were kind of clearly thinking and seeing that there was water flowing on the surface of Mars, much like we believe with Venus. That's right. So this, and this is all over the oldest bits of Mars. Yep. So here's a tight geological timeline for Mars. This is very different from the timeline for Earth. Yep. The timeline for Earth, all our geological periods are right down in the recent period. Yeah, yeah. It's all happened to you since. I mean, there's just Precambrian is most of the time. Everything happened in the last year, 600 million years. But in Mars, it's been very boring for a long time. But we've got this period about 4 billion years ago, yep. which seems to be when the, the highlands were formed, yep. judging by the number of meteorite impacts all over That's them. They're right. very old, uh, while the late heavy bombardment was still going on. Yep. And they are covered in signs of water. So we think at this very oldest period, that's when the water was on the planet? It sure looks like it. And also, um, uh, you can use um, pan-spectral imaging in your yep. spacecraft yep. to try and work out what these things are made of, as we talked about earlier. That's right. And it looks like a lot of the area from here is full of phyllosilicates, clays. Yep. And again, clays are what happens when you get things that break down in the presence of water, at least on Earth. Yeah, so, so we're kind of having lots of different ways. So it looks like there was, yeah. it's called the Noatian period after Noah's Ark and lots of water floods. around, yeah, floods okay. and so on. Um, then there's a next period, and the next period is actually when a lot of these big volcanoes Okay, so this formed. is what we talked about earlier, when these volcanoes emerge from these hot spots, we think, uh, on Mars. That's right. And now there's still signs of water, but the signs of water are looking a bit different. Okay. What you're actually seeing is what looks like mega flood channels. It uh, looks like there okay. might have been a very short, very sharp flood. Yep. So, for example, here we're looking at the sides of the huge the fastest bulge, yep. and it looks like there was I mean, at some point an absolutely massive, probably short-lived flood that rushed off this way, carving enormous channels very quickly. Okay, so much not like where the shorter, shallower, kind of more stable period in the in the in the first period. Yes, yeah, so in the first period, it kind of looks like you get these dendrites. These it looks yep. like rain was falling and flowing down valleys. Here, it looks like more like a flood. What you often yep. see is something like this. We've got a, what these are called a chaos terror. Okay. It looks like there's a region here which produced water. We think the water might have been ice under the surface, yep. and maybe some lava came up underneath and melted. It, and suddenly, you yeah, this huge a rush, huge on the flood side. down there, yeah. leaving what was called this chaos terror, the chaos lands. Yep. Some sort of bad There's no no equivalent on Earth to these things. Yeah. Which may be where all the ice collapsed away, yep. and then the sudden dramatic channel flowing out. So it kind of that's the next period, if you like. Here are some more of these things. Again, there are uh, the. Uh, uh, regions down here, the Chaos Terror, and yep. it looks like something happened there. Huge flood was released, rushed upwards. 
So again, it's another form of water, but probably a little bit different in the way it worked in the previous era. Yeah. So if you look back at the geological periods, now this is called the Hesperian period. Yep. So the Noachian period, it looked like there was rain falling kind of so maybe more like yeah. an earth-like hydrological cycle yep in this um, and lots of clays yep in the next period the hesperian period it's also lots of silicate rocks rather than the phyllosilicates yep um so this oh, sorry sulfur rocks rather than phyllosilicates yes. and that's probably because of all the volcanic eruptions that were going on causing some sort of massing melting flooding event across some of the surface and producing sulfur everywhere yep and then you get the boring period which is dominated by iron oxides yep when there doesn't seem to be any water anywhere and that's most of mars's history so even though most of mars's history in this three billion years is boring red rock essentially yeah. we do see lots of different evidence for water on the surface of Mars. that's right and in fact the, some of this clay has been observed up close yep um uh, here's a rover drilling into some of the clays in gale crater yep and they do indeed seem as far as we can tell i mean these have been dry for the last many billions of three billion years but they do indeed seem chemically to be the sorts of things that could have been laid down and in, in a wet environment four billion years in the past. So if Mars was wetter in the past, was it warmer in the past? Well, presumably. Right now, even if you poured water on the surface, you know, it would freeze, freeze and evaporate. Okay. The pressure is so low that even ice can't survive on the surface. It would sublime away. Yep. So you can't have either ice, let alone liquid water. It's too cold. Okay. On a really hot summer's day on Mars, it occasionally gets just above zero. Yep. But the atmospheric pressure is so low that even the water couldn't even flow then. Unless... But below the surface, it might in principle be water now, but there's certainly no no surface water now and there couldn't be given the thinness of the atmosphere. Yep. So it must have been hotter in the past. Okay.